Here we go. It's the place fun never ends. Take your pick and click. Ned and friends. Welcome to Ned Shorts. Hello and welcome to Think Fit. My name is Shanika and I'll be teaching you how to do the coolest, most popular dance moves like the floss and the hype. So make sure to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the newest dance moves. I'm also going to challenge you to keep your mind active by learning new things and we're going to keep our bodies moving as we learn new dance moves. So join me as we take care of our minds and our bodies together. The heart sends blood throughout the entire body sending your tissue the oxygen and nutrients it needs. And the average resting heartbeat is between 60 and 100 beats per minute. The heart also helps flush out unneeded stuff like carbon dioxide and other wastes. Exercise helps our memory and it helps our ability to think. It also releases chemicals in our brains that help new blood vessels grow and help keep our brain cells healthy. Did you know that exercise can help us sleep better at night? and it can change how we feel. It helps with our moods and our emotions. It also reduces stress and anxiety. Pretty cool, huh, Ned? You know what else? When our hearts beat faster, it helps our bodies and our brains. And the most common ways we get our heart rates up are by dancing, moving around, and playing sports. Now that helps our brains release a chemical called brain-derived neurotropic factor, or BDNF. Say that five times fast. I'm getting, but this chemical helps us to learn and remember things, and that's really important, especially as we learn new things every day. So let's see what our hearts feel like now. Everyone take two fingers, your pointer and the one next to it like this, make the peace sign, and then close them. Put those fingers on the left side of your neck, slightly under your chin about here, and you should be able to feel your heart beating or your pulse. If you don't feel it there, that's okay. You can always try it on your wrist. Take one hand and put it out like this. Take your four fingers, on the other hand and put it under your wrist and now take your thumb and put it on the inside of your wrist like this. You should be able to feel your heart beating. Now notice, is it beating fast or slow? We'll check it again after we're done dancing to see if there's been any change to how fast our hearts are beating. All right, now let's get moving. First, make sure you're in breathable clothing and you are wearing comfortable shoes like tennis shoes. Next. It's important to stretch. We always want to warm up our bodies before doing any major movements. Let's start with neck rolls. Drop your chin down and now roll your head all the way around in a circle. Good. Now switch to the other side. Great job. Now we're going to stretch our arms. Pull one across your body like this. And now the other one. Awesome. So now let's roll our ankles. Start with one. Great. And now the other one. Good job. Oh, oh, Ned mentioned to me that he really likes the dance move called the floss and most of you have probably seen it before, and it's really fun to do. But Ned thinks he doesn't know how to do it well. And you know what, Ned? I completely understand. Because not always doing things perfectly or like everyone else can make you feel like you're doing it wrong. But as long as you give it your best effort, it doesn't matter if you do it a little different. What matters is that you have the courage to try. You ready to be courageous? So let's break down the moves to the floss. Start with your legs shoulder width apart like this. Take both hands and make fists like you're gripping bicycle handles. Now put your arms straight down and move your arms to the right side of your body with your fist pointing out just a little bit. And when I say pull, bring both arms down towards the ground and move your weight and your hips to the right side of your body between your arms like this. Pull. Good. When I say push, move your arms back out to where they started and shift your weight to the center like this. Push. Let's try that a few times. Pull, push, pull, push. Great. Now we switch our arms, keeping them straight and with the fist still made to the other side of our bodies. Switch. And we'll do the same thing on that side. Pull your arms down and shift your weight towards your arms. And now push them back out and move your weight back center. Try it a few times on that side. Pull push, pull, 
push. Now switch. Okay, so here's the moves to the floss. Pull, push, switch. Pull, push, switch. Keep going. Pull, push, switch. There you go. You're getting it. I am so proud. Okay, now let's try it just a little faster. And remember, it's okay to mess up as long as you never give up. You ready to try it faster? Here's our Let's Dance Challenge. Let's put 30 seconds on the clock. Ready, set, floss. Wow. You're doing it. Keep going. Yes, keep going. Almost there. Wow, you were incredible. Now, wasn't that fun? Oh wait, I almost forgot. Let's check our heart rates. Is yours beating faster? Yeah, mine too. In fact, I think my brain just took a deep breath. It was phenomenal dancing with you today. You did such a great job. And I really hope to see you again as we learn a new move and maybe come up with some dance routines of our own. So don't forget to subscribe and do me a favor. Keep dancing. See you next time.